This looks kind of familiar. Where have I seen that before? This panel proposes charging two objects with unequal masses so they repel each other due to electrostatic repulsion. Meanwhile, gravity is attracting the two objects into each other. This setup would create a perpetual chase between forces. And when putting the two objects into a turbine, we supposedly could extract energy from their endless motion. Yeah, what you heard. Here's the deal. When an atom has an equal charge of electrons and protons, it's neutral. But in dry conditions, neutral objects can exchange electrons when rubbing against each other. Objects with like charges repel, while opposites attract. This process explains the electric shock you feel once in a while when you touch a doorknob or another person. That is your body discharging static electricity in a quick burst. It also explains why sometimes a random piece of paper sticks or repels from you. This happens because of the the electrostatic attraction or repulsion between your charged body and the paper. However, there is absolutely no way to harness meaningful energy from these forces, as they are minuscule and dissipate the moment the atoms become neutral again. Next, gravity is indeed attracting all objects into each other. We don't realize it's there because it's extremely weak, unless if you lift your head and look up. The sun. The earth is pulled toward the sun and that's why it orbits at the speed of 107,000 kilometers per hour. And since we have wind and tidal power, in a way this kind of works. It just can't be replicated in a useful setup. Since there is a limit to the amount of mass people and current technology could use in experimentation, the gravitational attraction between two small objects like the ones in this panel would be incredibly weak compared to the electrostatic force. Thus, the two objects would quickly move too far apart for any significant interaction. If we wanted to somehow keep them together, we would have to continually input energy into the system. Because of that and dissipation, any energy we extract would be less than what we put in. 